Ever wonder why a stone sinks in water? Let's make sense of it with science. If you've ever tossed a stone into a lake, you know what happens next. It sinks. To find out why, let's go lakeside. Here, we're going to discover why density, or the weight of a given volume of a substance, determines whether an object will sink or float. First, let's place a toy sailboat in the water. See, the sailboat floats very easily. Here's why. As the natural force of gravity pulls the sailboat downward, the water exerts an equal upward force, keeping our boat bobbing right along. That's because the sailboat's weight is less than the weight of the same volume of water. Now back to that stone. Unlike a toy sailboat or a feather or a rubber ducky, our stone has a greater density than water. That's because there's so much more matter crammed and squeezed and packed into this stone than in the same volume of water. As a result, the water can't push up and around the stone with an equal force, no matter how deep or wide our lake may be. And I have a sinking feeling that our stone won't float because its density is more than that of an equal volume of water. Well, hope today's information sunk in. It all makes sense with science. This has been presented by Bayer Corporation's National Education Program, Making Science Make Sense.